wait, <laughs> let me get this straight. I haven't spoken to you in one, two, five, ten years, yet you call me out of the blue and say, hey, I'm in New York and I'm supposed to stop what I'm doing and be your tour guide. Ooh. Hey everybody, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Hope everyone is having a great day like I am. I am here just to share a little page out of my notebook with you all. So, you know that for the last 20 years, I've been a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker. Child, I just got to tell y'all this. I was just sitting here thinking. I was sitting here thinking. When... I moved to New York. It was the greatest time of my life because it gave me a chance to be in a new city, a fast-paced city, and a city that had that holds a lot of dreams for, for a lot of people. It gave me a chance to meet people and just do things I've always wanted to do. Like I did my acting on television. I was on several TV shows and I met so many artists and I, and I just had a fabulous time being in New York. By all means, want you to take it in a negative way, but this is the truth, okay? Now, when I lived um, in Chicago, I kept in contact with a lot of people. And I'm not going to say that everybody that I know is my friends. They, I call them associates. There's a lot of people that I know. That's true. And I, But I didn't hang out with everybody. But it's, it's just really funny how when I decided to go to New York... Um, I don't know, just people just start calling out of nowhere. I mean, people that I haven't spoken to in one, two, five, ten years. And they wanted to come not to visit me, but they wanted to come to visit New York and they needed a tour guide. Me, I guess. I don't know. And I'm not saying any names, but you know who you are. Now, there were some that came to New York to see me, to spend some time with me, wanted to know what I was doing. A lot of people knew what I was doing. I was into royalties and licensing, and I worked with one of the record labels the publishing on the publishing and royalty side. I think that the people, some of the people that called me, I, I, I can't figure it out because you haven't called me all this time yet. I'm supposed to stop what I'm doing and, and just come and do whatever it is that you want to do. You see, I lived in New Jersey. I lived in New York for a long period of time, but then I ended up moving to New Jersey because it was, um, it was more convenient for me to be in New Jersey because, you know, I'm a driver because where I come from, I like to drive my car and you can't really drive your car too much in New York because everybody takes public transportation. Well, I didn't go to New York every single weekend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I worked there and on the weekends I wanted to stay with stay to myself and I had a meetup group of women that, uh, who shared the same interests as I did. I created the group and I ended up with like 800 people to join. But, you know, you only going to see maybe 20 or 30 people. But out of those 20 and 30 people, you know, we did a lot of things together. And I'm going to tell you about that. When I moved to New York, I didn't expect a lot of people to you know, give me a call. And I, there was a handful of people that, that, that were very genuine to me that, you know, that call from time to time and say, Hey, you know, just checking on you. If, if there's anything you, you need, let me know. Um, I'm praying for you. I really want the best for you. And those are the people that I cherish the most. And then there were people, Hey girl, I ain't seen you in so long. I'm coming to New York. You want to, you want to meet me in New York? And I just, I just can't get with that because you didn't call me all this time. And, and I keep saying this, I don't, I don't really gravitate to people like that because the way I would have done it, I would have been calling me months ago and say, Hey, you know, how's it going? What's happening? You know, I, you know, I was might plan a trip in a couple of months and want to know if, 
you know, you can take me around. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me let me back up. A lot of times people people lose touch with each other. And, and that's understandable. But what I don't like is for people to call you like within one month or one week and say, oh, hey, I'm coming to New York. I'm going to come and see you. You're really not going to come see me. Why don't you just keep it real and say, yo, I want to come to New York because I want to go shopping. Or, and I want to see the city and I want to know if you can go with me. Just be real. Just just don't call me because when you do that, that makes me think you're trying to use a girl. And I, I ain't with that. I'm really not with that. And it's, it's not it's not bashing, but it's, it's not bashing. I'm just telling you the truth. OK, this is story time. Um, I, And the one thing about me that 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 you will learn is that I surround myself with people. That, are, that, that, that seem to be genuine and, and really care about my well-being. And I want to be that person to do it with other people. Okay? One thing I don't do is use people. That's, that's not my thing. You know, people come into your life for reasons, seasons, and lifetimes. And, you know, some stayed for the lifetime. Some came in for a season, reason. That's cool. Um... And, and those are the people that I'm going to cherish the most, the ones that came in for a lifetime. And you know who you are. It's too long of a list, but, you know, I, I appreciate your friendship. Really, I do. I um, I formed uh, the meetup group, like I was telling you guys about. And, and just so you know, whenever you go to a new city, why don't you all create a meetup group so you don't be lonely? It's uh, meetup.com. You create a group, and, and you put in the age range that you would like to... Um, that you would like to form the group that you want to form. It could be 30 to 50, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 20 to 30, whatever you want. Um, do you want all women, all men? I, I, I did mixed. And I wanted people that share the same interests as I did. People that are outgoing, that's willing to try new things and, and to really get to, to network and, and, and get to know each other. And um, I ended up, like I said, I ended up with 800 people, but you know, you're not going to see 800 people. But I was able to form a friendship with, um, I'm going to say about maybe 10 or 15 other women. And we spent a lot of time together. I mean, we, we had the grab bags during Christmas time. We went rock climbing. We did so many things. And let me tell you about these ladies, these amazing ladies in New Jersey. All of them were go-getters. They were all go-getters. And, and that's what I love about them the most. It is very important that you surround yourself with people that are doing something, not just talkers, the non-doers, you know, the people that sit around and we all know people like this, not the people that sit around and say, oh, you doing that? Oh, uh. and, then, and, and then you got people to tell you, I wouldn't do that if I were you. You know, you don't want to be around people like that. You really don't. Because what happens is it starts to rub off on you and then you start to question yourself whether or not you're able to do whatever it is that you want to do. You know, when I was in my 20s, I have to make a confession that I was social, I was young, I was free, no kids. I wanted to kick it with everybody, yo, yo, yo. I was one of them people that wanted to come to the picnic. Oh, hey, girl, hey, girl, hey, hey, hey. But as I got older, as I got older, you don't need all that. I don't need a grand interest when I walk in. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. I really don't. You know, I've gotten older. I'm I'm over that. I'm pretty much laid back. I'm more of a, a observer, more so than a a party stopper or or uh, you know the life of the party. I don't do that. I I rather just you know come in. Hey, how you doing? And I'm sitting down. I'm good. Um, I'd rather be alone than be in a wrong company. In I don't like to be around the wrong company. You know what I mean? So I try to be around people that are positive, that support one another. I'm not perfect under any circumstances. Now, when I was in my 20s, oh, I talked a lot, child, honey. I talk, 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 talk. Hey, girl, she get on my nerves. But see, I, one thing about me, though, let me just, let me just, in defense of myself, I tell people face-to-face -face how I feel. That's one thing about me. I tell you face to face, I don't care for you because of one, two, and three. Okay? Now, either we, you know, let's work this out or there's going to be a problem between the two of us. And that's one thing 
that I like about myself because if it's something that I've said about you, I will admit to it. But I am not going to sit here and, um, you know, pretend to like you when I don't. And, um, but, you know, I, I, I've never been a follower. I've never, ever been a follower. I don't like to follow people. I really don't. If anything, I like to lead. That, that's something that I've always liked to do. And I don't mind standing on my square by myself. You know, people, you know, if I'm in a group of people and 14 people agree with this and I'm the only one agree with that, I'm good with that. Really, I'm good with that. Um, I, I had a couple of friends who had friends. And then when I saw their friends, they were doing this, that, and the third and all this stuff. And, and it was either motivating or not motivating. So, you know, sometimes, unfortunately, you have to pull yourself away from people who are not doing the same things that you want to do. And, and, and it may result into something not so good. But, you know, I, I'm not a, I'm a person. And, and I, I just can't stand it. I mean, I know some people are, I'm a, I'm a do this. I'm a do this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm a do it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I don't do that. A lot of times, not that I've gotten older, I just simply sit down, write out what I want to do, do it, and then let people know what, I'm, what I did. That's what I do. Now, I have to admit that sometimes I can be a procrastinator. I can be a procrastinator. I know, I know. I'm working on that. I'm working on that. It's not easy. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting it all together, y'all. It's a process. It's a process. But, you know, I, I just wanted to share that little story with you all because I'm going to, I'm, there's some things I need to work on this afternoon, but I just wanted to share that little bit of information with you that, you know, you got some good people and you got some bad people. Just be smart enough to know the difference between the two, okay? Because you don't want people to use you. You know, I, I want everybody to win in this life. I don't, I don't want to wish any bad things with anyone, none of that, because I think the world is big enough to share in the abundance. So people that really know me, that have been around me, I try to be a positive light to them because like I said, I, I don't, I don't want to dim anybody's light. I want to brighten the light. Okay. If there's anything that I can do to, to help you during your journey, all you got to do is ask. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to sit back and, 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 and allow you to shine. If it's your time, hey, that's cool. You take stage. There's so many stages in life. If you can't take this stage, take that stage, take that stage, take that stage. Lots of stages to choose from, people. So there's no reason to be jealous of other people, okay? So I just want to let you guys know that I love you. And I'm so glad that you came to my channel. So I just want to share that tad bit of information. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification and I'm going to come up with another video very soon. I love you and I'll see you. I'll see you soon.